This is Jane from Jane's Videos with a very special video because this is Nightmare House 2015 Haunt Build number four, I believe. Now, the reason this the reason this one is very special is because finally this is actually a build where stuff has actually been built. So, um, yeah, and there's a new scene added. So I'll just walk through and tell you guys all the scenes that there has been so you guys can see how it's doing and then I'll show you like what's going on. So, of course, here's the Okay, I'm just going to start at the queue. Um, just so you guys see everything and how it's actually going to look. Okay. So here's the queue, of course, of my decorations. There will be like grave ravers and uh, props I don't use in the haunt lined up on shelves on the queue so people can press them while they wait in the queue. In the queue will be a marked path so people don't wander off other places. Up here will be, uh, of course, where they get their candy right here at a table. Then this is where the actual haunt starts. I've already told you guys this. Here's Jack's Evil Toy Store, Shipwreck Island. The Haunted Mansion. Those beams are obviously to put up plastic. And the Insane Asylum. Then onto the outside scenes. The Creepy Carnival. Turn the corner. The Gates of Hell. Uh, Dark Harvest Field of Screams. What oh, row? Spider. Hey, that's the spider that I was holding yesterday. I was holding a spider yesterday. Looks like he found his way to make a new web. Alright, buddy. <laughs> uh, zombie wasteland. Right around here. Voodoo Swamp will start in here, of course. Now this is where the new scene comes in. Voodoo Swamp will actually stop halfway through. And if you watch my Party City Halloween 2015 haul number one, you saw that I, you heard that I was talking about a, the Mummy's Tomb, the Pharaoh's Revenge. Yeah, that will be a thing. Even though the Mummy's Tomb last year wasn't very popular, I wanted to I wanted to improve it so I don't leave the Mummy's Tomb with a bad name. Plus, because um, well, not with a bad name, but just with a bad reputation of being really really just not that great but I wanted to make it because I like mummies for Halloween and I thought it would just be really cool now outside so there's not just since that's gonna be an inside <coughs> room with a roof over it then this area is the voodoo swamp so it's not gonna have a roof it's gonna be so um I'm gonna have it like it's kind of confusing so I'll try to explain this Okay, it's going to be, um, there's going to be a pyramid outside of it to kind of make it so it's not just this random building in the middle there. It's going to be a pyramid outside of it. Now, the, the way I'm going to do that is going to be, um, okay, so this is how that's going to happen. There's going to be a big, uh, what do you call it? Um, okay, there's going to be a big wood piece that's in the shape of a pyramid outside. Uh, and it's going to have it's going to be painted like a pyramid and it's going to be like you're stepping into the pyramid It's going to be cool and that's actually going to be a small scene It's going to go from there to there, but still that's that's a decent size and uh, then you will go into dead end cemetery Which will be back there and then here's the exit so um Since I showed you the scenes I'm going to show you what's been done here uh, with the poles because that's the main big thing that's happened so with these poles these hold up the walls, um, the outside walls. Now, as you guys know, Nightmare House has been expanded for this year. It's um, very expanded. Of course, last year you went into Dark Harvest Field of Screams, and then you went into Dead End Cemetery, and then you came out. All this was the same, but you went into, actually it was just called The Farm this year. You went into The Farm. I mean, last year it was called the farm, and then you just went it was spider. Stop it! <laughs> then you just went into the dead end cemetery, and then you just um, walk out over here. But this year it's quite different because this year it um, it's much bigger because you go all the way back there, then you go this way, then you go that way, and then you go even further out. 
So you guys know this is probably one of the biggest expansions that's ever happened in Nightmare House. Uh, in 2012, it used to just be this. 2013, it went to what I just said, and so was 2014. This is the biggest expansion, though, because it's all the way. So that is, this is definitely probably the biggest expansion. Because last year, you couldn't go back to the back of that because it was just... Dead End Cemetery was blocked off, so you can't go back into it. You can just see it at a distance. But this year, it's... It's, you actually get to go back there. So this is probably one of the biggest expansions that Nightmare House has ever had. And my voice does sound a little weird today. I hope I'm not getting sick. Um, here's the poles. So this pole will be the one of the main walls. Now, the way that Creepy Carnival and Gates of Hell get separated down the middle here is uh, plastic. Just small poles that hold up the plastic wall. So it's not like a big thing. And then this is just the main wall right there one of the main walls so you would go in here in dark harvest field of screams it's just a short path actually um like a lot of the scenes but since it's well, not a short path but it's like not very uh it's very skinny but it still will be really cool um those are where each of the walls are going to be for dark harvest field of screams got duck under this cobweb hey spider um now this, the spot, this will still be Dark, uh, dark Harvest Field of Screams and Cornstalker will probably be right there, um, just because I always like to have them at the end because of dark of the farm section that have been happening for the, uh, this is going to be the second year of a farm section, of course last year was just called the farm, and this is Dark Harvest Field of Screams, so it's actually different. Um, but there will be just a, uh, this will be the entrance to the zombie wasteland, which right here, it will just be like a long pathway, probably have some scare actors in here, uh, probably standing out that way, since there will be a wall right there at that point, there will probably be some scare actors standing back there, and like, go through the plastic or something, I don't, I don't know what's gonna work there, um, but... This is where the actual zombie wasteland section starts, the main section for it. Now, the reason there doesn't need to be a wall here, the zombie wasteland could just go out there, but there needs to be so the zombie wasteland, for one, can be separated from the voodoo swamp, and two, so it can block that tree, because you're not supposed to see that tree until you get to the voodoo swamp. You can only see the branches over the walls. So, this is where the actual zombie wasteland will be. There will be tarp back there will be a black tarp so it looks like the sky and the zombies will be standing on the other side of this fence right here which is going to be really cool and then you're going to go over here and this is the entrance to the voodoo swamp now right when you get in the voodoo swamp like i said limb ripper is going to be right there you're going to be so close to him just this is the amount of space very narrow path so if there's a whole bunch of people coming in at once you'll be like right next to him which will be very menacing and of course that will be blocked off back there but it will be very menacing now you'll turn the corner, and I think those are my dad's keys, but I'm not sure. I'll have to pick them up in a minute. Um, you'll turn the corner, and this is still the voodoo swamp. The witch hut will be right here, the giant witch hut. There will be bats and stuff in this tree. Then the mummy's tomb, the pharaoh's revenge, will be right... Uh, you'll walk into it right here. So that will be this. And of course, Dead End Cemetery. But these walls, this wall right here, is going to be... Uh, the Mummy Stream Pharaoh's, the Pharaoh's Revenge is going to be a pretty wide, uh, scene, as you can see, all the way over here, but there will be, you can only walk in, like, the middle of it, because there will be props on either side, and I might be, be getting Jumping Spider, um, this year, maybe even soon, um, so he would be somewhere in here, because, of course, spiders are, like, would be in Mummy's Tomb, so, uh, this right here, is it goes out further because dead end cemetery is right here and then this would have to connect to that tree for the exit but i hope you guys enjoyed so far um i really enjoyed making this video for you guys um so i hope you enjoy so far and remember that there will be more coming very 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 soon more build videos because these builds are gonna have have to happen every day almost because um 
with having a haunt, especially a haunt this big. Like, a lot of you haunters don't have to do very many builds, like, every day, but my haunt, like you saw last year in the video, it takes a lot of work to go into my haunt because it's just very, very big, and it's very extreme, so I need to do it, we need to be doing, like, builds almost every day with mine. Uh, so today, walls will probably go up, because this actually was done yesterday, but I, it was getting dark out, so I didn't film it, but... Today, walls will probably be going up, and I will definitely film that. If it's not dark out tonight, then I will film it. If we don't get it done by uh, sundown, I'll film it tonight. But if it gets too dark out and I'll have to use a flashlight and stuff, that will be kind of uh, kind of poor, not very great video, because you won't be able to see the whole thing. You'll only be able to see like what's right next to me. So, I'll just wait till tomorrow if that happens. But, you never know. Keep howling out the moon, my werewolves. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.